Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. So today we have something that's long and flat. It's not a W900. I've had a lot of people comment on uh, videos I've put out over the last couple of years. Andy, your wheelbases are way too short. Your wheelbases are too short. Well, guess what? This truck, one of the longest wheelbase trucks that I have sold. So I'll tell you what it is when we're out at the truck, but let's roll that intro. Let's uh, head out and take a look at this truck. What did I tell you? It's a long wheelbase. 327 inches to be exact. It's set up for a huge deck to go on the back of it. So anyways, let's uh, check out this truck. This is a brand new 2021. Yes, you heard me right, 2021 T880. I'll show you the serial number to prove it. Uh, this is a 2021 unit that we have sold to Dr. Hook Towing here in Winnipeg. Uh, They're the biggest towing company in the prairies here. A uh, huge fleet of Kenworth trucks. Great customer of mine uh, for 15 years. And uh, thank you very much, Nick, Julie, and Eric for uh, purchasing this truck. Looks great. The blue looks exceptionally good inside joke. Anyhow, uh, this is a 40 inch flat top sleeper on here. And uh, we've ordered this truck with a 20,000 pound front axle with 20,000 pound spring. It's got the chrome bumper with a center tow pin. Just look at the stance of this truck. It looks awesome. And I love the Viper blue with the smoke met. It looks really good. A lot better than Mariner blue. Maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, this has got the aluminum metal mesh grill, so it's heavy duty. Uh, your clips for your winter front are right there. It's got the chrome uh, stainless surround around the grill, so that's uh, not plastic. And this is a five-piece design hood. I've shown this many times in lots of videos. Uh, it has the seam right here, another one up above, another one here, and another one down below. And that's just so that the fenders are easily repairable. And if you do have to repaint it, in this case, you can see it'd be really easy to do without having to interrupt the rest of the truck. Uh, so this uh, truck has the aluminum uh, rims. They're polished, level one, and they have disc brakes all the way around. So you got disc on the front, disc on the back. You got your batteries right in here. The def tank. Now here's the difference between the T800 model and the T880. The T800 model, because of our mount system for our sleeper, it's right here, we can actually fit the def tank right in here. If we ordered the same truck with the 38 inch bunk in the T800, that tank cannot go till right there to where the fuel tank is. It will not fit. So if you want to avoid a gap, you'd have to either swap the location of the fuel on the def tank or go to the T880 model. So just a little point there. So this is uh, the jockey box. It is keyed the same as the ignition and the door. So it's one key does it all. Uh, you got your power boost terminals there to, uh, uh, sorry, your cab cutoff power. So that kills the, the truck power. We got a 75 gallon fuel tank here with the two inch fuel tank straps. And we had to engineer this truck to accommodate all of the uh, hoists and, and whatnot that are going in here. So we actually laid out these cross members exactly where uh, where the customer required them to be so that we have the, the adequate clearances. So it'll just drop right in there just beautifully. Uh, Mid-frame marker, which is required on uh, trucks over, I believe it's 30 feet. We have the Hendrickson Primax suspension. It's a 46,000 uh, pound rating on there. And these are the Michelin 12R225 tires. So a little bit wider on the back end. Uh, and then the aluminum rims as well level one polish 
Now we ordered the truck without any uh, mud flaps on the back because they're mounting their own. So at the shop here at Inland, Inland, woo, we, uh, we made these up uh, just temporarily so we can drive it over to their shop. So that's not a factory option. <laughs> we have the Dana Spicer D46 172s on the back end there uh, with full locking differential. So that's a four way locker. We have uh, airlines at the back here with the electric cord here. So that's when they're towing a vehicle from uh, hooking up to the air if they have to, they have the access there to do that. Uh, all right, this side, pretty much a duplicate of the other, just a little bit bigger fuel tank on this side. Yes, welcome to winter. We have snow. So this is a 120 gallon fuel tank on this side here. Another jockey here. We have the painted, uh, the painted vent. And then here is your uh, emissions toolbox right there. So let's open up the hood and I'll show you what we got powering this beast. Oh, it's still latched. Hang on. <clears throat> there we go. We have the 450 horsepower Cummins X15. It is the efficiency series. It's a little bit lighter duty uh, weights, uh, what they're doing with this truck. So we don't need to put it with uh, too big of a power plant under here. Uh, not like their five axle rotator that they have with the 605, but this one here is the 450. We have the boost terminals, the heated fuel water separator right there, engine oil fill, check, washer fluid up above air filter up above there. Here is your hydraulic fluid for the air assist hydraulic uh, clutch, which the truck comes with. And uh, we have fuse panels uh, right here. So if you need to access those for whatever reason, you can just pop that out really easy. Comes with the pinchers right there. So you don't need the butter knife jamming it in there. You just grab those pinchers, pop those ones that are really tough to get to. Okay, uh, run around the other side here take a look and close up the hood. I'll do the usual fuel fill or fuel uh, fuel filter filter. It's just the air filter for the HVAC system right there. Give this uh, a little squeeze. If you're uh, wanting to make sure it stays clean and not getting any cold air coming into the cab when you're wanting heat. So just make sure there's no ice or any build of a moisture in there at all. So like I said, we have the 20,000 pound front spring on here. We got disc brakes as well on the front end. So let's close up the hood and take this tour in the truck. All right, so let's uh, walk up to the truck here. So you can see here the scale weight, 9,070 kilograms. We got the D46 172H with 391 gear ratio. And uh, where is the model year? I'll show you right here. Uh, so the eighth last digit is an M. That is 2021. Just in case you're wondering. So we got the Dura Supreme material. So this is a heavy duty uh, material. Uh, it's a cloth, so it's, it's nice. You're not gonna sweat it out on there. Uh, but it's very durable as well. And these are the GT702 seats. So we have the uh, quick drop there, air, the shock adjustment, height adjustment, lumbar support. This is your chugger right there. This is to adjust the tilt and then the cushion, how much you want to have it adjust underneath. I've done tons of demos on those to show you guys what that's all about. Something I haven't shown in a long time. Fuse panel right here. Look at that nice little LED light that lights up when you open that up. Saves having that uh, flashlight in your mouth when you're trying to get access in there. Uh, all the pedals are suspended in this model. So you can see here with the new style cabs, we have a suspended clutch, suspended brake pedal and suspended throttle. But you got that nice big pedal to push down on. So this is the Vantage interior. Uh, we went with the standard gray and then with the black trim in the inside there. As far as the, the door here, we have the door locks, window lift controls, uh, mirror controls and heated mirrors. We have your adjustment for the brightness of the dash, your interior lights, 
your uh, exterior light test, and then there is the light for a, a work light. Uh, here is your white, your signal. This is to get washer fluid on the window, and this is your interrupter switch for the clearance lights up on the roof. Here's Jake break, bub bub bub. Jake break, bub bub bub. Jake break, bub bub bub. Bub bub bub. Jake break, bub Sorry guys. Oh boy, okay, I'm at home right now. I'm editing this video. Uh, I'm still tending to my finger uh, that I chopped off a few uh, days ago. Um, so I'm just editing this here. I'm a little loopy right now. So yeah, I'm just having too much fun with this here. So this video that I'm record that I filmed of this truck is from uh, Sunday. Actually, I recorded this video at the dealership on Sunday, uh, about four hours, five hours before I went to the gym and cut my finger off. So that video is the very last video where I have all 10 fingers, 10 toes all intact. So um, anyhow, back to the truck video. I just thought I'd interrupt this for a second. And uh, let's get back to this here. I'm a little loopy right now. <laughs> okay, bye. And then down below here is your trailer brakes uh, for that uh, tractor package that we saw at the back there. Engine fan, uh, cruise and set resume, air traction control, uh, your DPF regen switch, air suspension dump, your power divider, front and rear diff lock. So that's a four-way locker. And then the PTO switch right there. Here is the 18-speed uh, manual transmission. And then we did the uh, six gauges with the storage pocket right there, so it's a nice clean look. Uh, we have the uh, hazards, your driving lights, your clearance lights for the truck up on the roof, and then the sleeper lights in the back there. So this here, uh, I'll just take off my shoes for a quick second. All right. Okay, so this here uh, lower bed does lift up. So there is a latch, where do we keep that? Oh yeah, so the latch is on the far side here and that uh, opens up like so. What was clunking around there was just the, the seat belt right here. So in here we have a nice little storage pocket area. This does not go all the way through. Uh, so with a 40 inch bunk, you get the two separate uh, options here and there. You got these nice little deep pockets here. You can keep an extra pair of shoes or uh, emergency kit or whatever you need in there. And then, uh, yeah, so flips up really easy uh, up and out of the way. We have storage up above here, some lights, another little storage pocket right there. And then over here is where we have a, uh, the rear control. Uh, you can option to have the heat control to adjust the cab blowing back here, but uh, we opted not to just have a storage pocket spot to charge your cell phone and another power outlet right there and a hidden power outlet right down here. So we got a few of those and that's uh, pretty much, pretty much it. All right, so thanks for coming by to watch this video today. Uh, I, again, a huge thank you to Nick, Julie, Eric, and all the staff at Dr. Hook for continuing to purchase Kenworth trucks from us here at Inland and for myself. Uh, long-standing friendship with uh, the Roscoe family so thank you very much for, for choosing us again uh, as far as uh, the subscribers if you haven't had a chance to do that yet and subscribe to my YouTube channel would appreciate it uh, just click the link down below here and uh, you'll get subscribed to the channel and then that way you know when new videos come out if you want to get notified click off that bell and then your phone will notify you when I post a new video usually every Thursday uh, if you want to check out what we have for sale as far as inventory, we have a huge list uh, available. Just click up here. You can go to thekenworthguy.com and see what I have listed up for sale. And uh, yeah, so thanks again for coming by. And as always, have yourself the world's best day.